Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Semi showed high performance at run on less event. Tesla to submit formal letter of intent for Giga Mexico. Tesla Cybertruck off-road encounter teases potential October deliveries. And Tesla removes base model Y dual motor variant from configurator. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla semi trucks showed strong performance at the NAC run on less event. The trucks covered a distance of up to 377 miles while still retaining some of the battery charge. PepsiCo showcased its Tesla semi trucks at run on less electric depot. The event started on September 1st and will last until the end of the month. It will evaluate the efficiency of all trucks per day to understand how much total electricity would be consumed if all the trucks and depots were converted to electric vehicles. There are 21 trucks in total at the event, including three Tesla semi-trucks from PepsiCo's Sacramento, California facility. According to the first data published by the North American Council for Freight Efficiency, NAC, Tesla semi-trucks are performing excellently. On the first day of testing, one Tesla semi drove 335 miles on a single charge, maintaining a 17% state of charge at the end of the run. The second semi drove 295 miles with 21% remaining. The third semi, which was 95% charged, drove 377 miles while maintaining 1.76% charge. The results were excellent, showing that electric trucks with a range of more than 350 miles are a reality. Trucks are serious polluters of the environment. They make up only 1% of all vehicles on U.S. roads, but they are responsible for 18% of all vehicle emissions. That is why it is important that the trucking industry strives to decarbonize. More fleets are investing in battery-powered trucks. The Run on Less Electric Depot event is designed to show the performance of electric trucks in the real world under a variety of conditions to give companies an idea of which is best. Moving to the next update, Tesla to submit formal letter of intent for Giga Mexico. Tesla is expected to deliver a letter of intent on Friday, September 15, to formally start the installation and build-out of Gigafactory Mexico. On Friday, they will give us the letter. They tell me that nothing can be said until they have the letter that makes it official, a source reportedly told Molino. Through his personal Instagram, the governor of Nuevo Leon, Samuel Garcia Sepulveda, teased Tesla's move to submit a letter of intent for Giga Mexico. He invited several Tesla executives and Mexican government officials to his home earlier this week. Based on Governor Sepulveda's comments, Gigafactory Mexico is following a similar path as Giga Berlin. Permits for Giga Berlin's water usage and supply, as well as transportation, were a major challenge for Tesla. Water issues still hover around Giga Berlin to this day. Last month, Tesla submitted Gigafactory Mexico's environmental impact statement to local officials. The documents labeled Giga Mexico, Project Mario, and provided Tesla's plan for the flora and fauna during construction. Tesla has also requested a change of land use from the Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources. Tesla Giga Mexico will house the company's new production line for its $25,000 compact electric vehicle. In April, Governor Sepulveda estimated that Gigafactory Mexico would take 12 to 15 months to build. For reference, Giga Shanghai holds the fastest build-out record among the Tesla factories all over the world. With the governor's estimation in mind, Tesla might start production at Giga Mexico by 2025, meeting the company's goals. However, a Chinese supplier suggested that Tesla might have underestimated Mexico's permitting process. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck off-road encounter teases potential October deliveries. A few days ago, footage of a Cybertruck release candidate in California's Hollister Hills State Vehicle Recreation Area, SVRA, was posted online. The video attracted a lot of attention since it showed what appeared to be a Cybertruck with a fully raised suspension driving up a dirt road. The uploader of the video, off-road enthusiast and Jeep owner David Tapley, 
has now posted some follow-up footage from the day the Cybertruck was testing at Hollister Hills. As per the Jeep owner, he was able to have a chat with the Tesla team, who were testing two Cybertruck units, and he was provided some interesting information about the all-electric pickup truck. The Cybertruck's air suspension, for one, was quite impressive, as it could go from very low to very high clearance. In later comments, the off-road enthusiast stated that the Cybertruck should have pretty good clearance, as the air suspension can lift the vehicle way up. The Jeep owner also noted that he did not see the Cybertruck driving on a trail, but he did observe the vehicle in the Hollister Hills playground area. During its tests, the Cybertruck reportedly had some difficulty climbing some of the obstacles in the playground area, which the off-road enthusiast noted was likely due to the pickup truck's all-terrain tires not being aired down. Tapley stated that this was likely the case since the Cybertruck evidently has a lot of torque on tap and its air suspension ensures that there are no issues with ground clearance. Most interestingly, the Tesla staff with the Cybertruck reportedly stated that the all-electric truck would have its first deliveries sometime this coming October. That's roughly just a month away, which means that some lucky reservation holders should be able to receive their Cybertrucks by the end of the year. Tesla has been observed testing the Cybertruck in several off-road facilities. Apart from Hollister Hills in California, Tesla has also brought the Cybertruck to the Southern Hemisphere Proving Grounds in New Zealand. During the vehicle's tests in the New Zealand facility, the all-electric pickup truck was observed driving around in areas with heavy snow. Footage of the Cybertruck also showed that Tesla was drifting the Cybertruck on icy roads. Moving to the last update, Tesla removes base Model Y dual motor variant from configurator. The base Tesla Model Y dual motor variant is no longer available on the company's configurator. As of this video, only the Tesla Model Y long range and performance variants are available for purchase. In April 2023, Tesla reportedly added the Model Y units using 4680 battery cells to its configurator. Tesla never officially announced the release of its Model Y units with 4680 cells. The company added the base dual motor variant for the starting price of $49,990 before incentives. Before Tesla stopped taking orders for the base Model Y variant, it was priced at $47,740 before options and incentives. When it became available, the base Model Y had 279 miles of range per charge, a top speed of 135 miles per hour, and a 0 to 60 time of 5 seconds. The Model Y also qualified for the Inflation Reduction Act $7,500 credit. The base Tesla Model Y dual motor was available in select locations. Currently, Tesla offers two variants in the United States and Puerto Rico, and three Model Y variants in the rest of its markets. Tesla offers a Model Y variant in other markets, including Canada, Mexico, China, and Europe. The Fremont factory produces the Model Y long range and the Model Y performance. Recent reports suggest that Giga Texas halted the Model Y line and Cybertruck assembly lines for upgrades and retooling. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.